dost thou say that east and west upbear the throne of Ind? This, then, the reason of my summons sent. For, no, ere long in radiance on our skies, the son of India shall himself arise. Be yours, O daughters, to prepare his way. Though true it is we lack two cities here, and those are chiefest fitly to complete our conclave. At my right and left a seat Calcutta waits, and Delhi. Not there won't to slight our summons. Delhi her rights of old maintains, her new Calcutta. Would the discord we might heal, giving to both content. The trumpets peal. Whom do they herald thus with beat of drums? Great Ind, the city of Calcutta comes. Welcome, Calcutta. Greeting, mother mine, and homage. Sister cities palatine, my salutation. Somewhat tardy ones. Late, better's never, as the proverb runs. Late? Am I late? Your pardon. But the cares of council and of business, state affairs, have kept me. Ever at my heels stalks commerce, while my leisure statecraft steals. I am the capital. Why, so thou art. Lo, on my right hand there thy seat of honour, with its counter-chair upon my left for Delhi. Delhi here, and on thy left. I do not see her, though, hath she departed like her glories. No, Delhi, like thee, is late. With less excuse. Call a truce, Calcutta, to these conflicts. Go take thy seat of high estate, and know, O oh daughter, she who would be great should first be gracious. Mother, I obey, and by thy sanction consummate my sway, kissing that right hand which thou givest to me. I would that Delhi were but here to see with deference due my merit overtop her antique state and all its stories. Stop! That place is mine. Thine? Mine! By every claim of ancient right and usage. 
For justice none can ever call too loud, and right grows wrath where parvenus wax proud, Calcutta. But, great mother, to me grant your pardon if my courtesy seems scant, and you, my sisters, thus amend I make with due obeisance. Enough of sneers. I am the capital. Of might, not right. Great Ind and cities, give me your award. If to Calcutta freely you accord that right-hand seat which she from me hath reft, well, but I will no longer take the left that hath been greatest. Only when ye meet, poor Delhi, let there be a vacant seat. Of you not to crave my right is to abandon you can waive without abandoning your claim. Give place, and learn to do it with a better grace. By sacred Ganges, I give place to thee. That would indeed an ignominy be. And wilt thou vaunt to me thy mushroom pomp of new-made palaces that was to swamp one hundred years ago when I, a queen, enthroned for forty centuries have been. While her day is done. None doubts thy day was splendid, Delhi, yet upon the longest day the sun must set. When was it known the sun should set at noon? Mine is full midday, mother, over soon for dusk to fall. Then give me hearing, weigh my cause and me. How say you, daughters? Mother, we agree that Delhi should be heard of us. And thou, Calcutta? I am willing here and now to answer Delhi, and myself to plead my counter-cause before you. 